What is up team 22.1? I'm sure you guys have all seen what the workout was. I'm sure you guys have watched the announcement. If not, let's do a brief recap. 22.1, 15 minute AMRAP. It's gonna start with three wall walks, 12 dumbbell snatch, 50 pounds for the guys, 35 pounds for the ladies, and then 15 box jump overs with a step down. That's the new little wrinkle that they threw in for this year's open. Um, just wanna go over some tips on each movement, maybe some pacing considerations. First one is the wall walk, right? You're gonna have a pair of lines set up 10 inches from the wall uh, for your finished position. The men are gonna be 60 inches away from the wall, women are gonna be 55. Now at the bottom, Make sure we start on the floor, flat, fingertips to the ground, right? We don't need to get our entire hand over the line. That's gonna be a waste of energy there, okay? So just fingertips at the line. Now remember, the movement starts by getting your body off the floor first, then your feet have to come up the wall before your hands can actually move. So be conscious, say it in your head, to move your feet first before the hands start to move. You don't want to waste a rep on that. Now, once you actually get your body to that inverted position, you really want to step as high as we can up the wall and try to take as big steps going back to the wall. On the way down, hands first, then feet, get your body flat again. Okay, now, on the way back, when you're ascending the wall, we wanna to try to get as big of steps as possible. These short, choppy steps over time is gonna really add up. Your shoulders are gonna to start to fatigue, your elbows are gonna to start to break. It's gonna make it much harder on those wall climbs. For me, being a bigger athlete, really trying to focus on getting those hands as far back and as few steps as possible. Um, cool. Next is the dumbbell snatch. Pretty straightforward. What you're gonna wanna do is as soon as you come out of that wall walk, be diligent, get your hand on the dumbbell immediately and get your first rep underway. There's no chalking up, there's no time for that. Get that first rep up and overhead and if you need to breathe and catch your breath, use your first maybe four to six reps to kind of really bring that heart rate down a little bit. Right, you can always pause overhead to kind of give yourself a second of a breather. When you finish your 12th rep, don't just drop the dumbbell from up overhead. You want to set it down in a spot that is going to be um, efficient for us to easily pick it up again from round to round. Right? If I'm dropping the dumbbell all over the place, I have to chase it around. I'm wasting time and energy. Last movement, the box jump over. This is kind of a make or break movement. Uh, if you are unable to find your rhythm. So staying um, disciplined with your pacing and your technique in the box jump over is really gonna save a lot of time here. Now, when jumping onto the box, you have to step down, but what we wanna do is do somewhat of a pivot on the way off of the box. So when I turn and jump onto the box, I want my trail leg to land on the far side. I'm gonna take this foot, step off of the box and start my pivot. And as soon as this trail leg touches the floor, back on. Taking that foot and landing on the far side of the box. As soon as this foot touches, I jump, land on the far side of the box. And I'm staying nice and low and crouched, right? I don't want to stand up. Every time I stand up, I'm doing like a little mini air squat, I'm wasting my legs, I'm wasting energy. Right. Last but not least, as far as pacing, it's 15 minutes. It's not exactly a short workout, so you can come out too hot. I think you guys saw in the open announcement. What happens if you come out too hot? You're gonna end up not being able to sustain. You're gonna really, really fall off the pace, right? So warm up properly, get your heart rate up, 
Uh, maybe do a 500 meter row into a mini round of this workout of one wall walk, six dumbbell snatch, eight box jump overs. And you wanna use this to kind of work on uh, pacing and your technique of how you want to approach this workout. That's really going to be where uh, you're going to find your rhythm for what's going to actually happen in this workout, right? Because after rowing, you're not going to be able to just sprint. It's going to be a little bit too difficult to do that. All right. So use your practice rounds to find your pacing. Um, stay disciplined with your technique. Good luck. And I hope to see you guys out there on the leaderboard.